I don't know where to begin. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome to a mind-blowing video. So Scott just made a post about a half hour ago to the FNAF subreddit that is, again, it's mind-blowing. So FNAF fan games are not new at all. They have been around for basically as long as FNAF has been around. The first fan game was, I think it's like Five Nights at Treasure Island, and that was released probably in 2014, maybe even 2015, but basically they have been around for years. And there have been some very notable FNAF fan game developers. I'm not gonna name them right now, we'll get into them very shortly, because if I name people here, I'll forget some people, you guys will be just like, oh, well, what about this very amazing developer? And I'll be just like, yep, forgot about them, so I'm gonna hold off on names. But this post, right, I just wanna hop straight into it, because I, I swear, I've read this thing at least three times, and every time I read it, I'm still just blown away. So the post that Scott made is called the Fazbear Fanverse Initiative. It's quite a long post, so try and stick with me. Hey guys, I wanted to tell you all about a little project that I've been working on for a while now. It's a giant collaboration involving several fan game creators who have made some of the most popular fan games over the years here in the community. It's a project that's designed to invest into those franchises, give back to the developers, and hopefully bring new entries to those franchises as well. There have been some great fan-made spin-off universes created in this community, and I want to see them keep going. That's why I've put some of my own cash towards development of new games in those game series. However, I'm going to stay out of development side of things so that these creators can do their thing. They're going to develop these games and interact with the fanbase just as they would have normally. And when the games are done, they'll be released on Game Jolt for free, just like normal. The difference now is that they'll also be bundled up with other games from the same series, such as the classic versions, or remakes, or minigames, and so on on most major consoles and mobile as well, at least that's the plan. Did I mention that there may be some toys and other merchandise of these fan games too? So what's in the initial lineup? Emil will be bringing you Five Nights at Candy's 4, Nixon will be bringing you the Joy of Creation Ignited Collection, Kane will be bringing you Pop Goes Evergreen, Jonah Chrome will be bringing you One Night at Flumpty's 3, and finally, Phil will be bringing you a remake slash reimagining of the original FNAF. Since some of the older fan games may have used copyright assets or assets created by other people, etc., some are getting remade in part or remade entirely. Some are being remade completely from scratch with new character designs, new sound design, and new artwork. It's a big project on the part of all of these creators, so please show these developers some support. I want to see these games on consoles, and then maybe if it all goes well, I can add more fan game to the project in the future. So yeah, I'd really like to see this turn into something cool. What do you think? Well, Scott, I'll tell you what I think. I think this is the best thing that Scott has done in years. This is one of the best things that he has ever done for this community. So, again, this is a big, big post. So going step by step is kind of impossible without making this video 30 minutes long. So basically, Scott is helping out. He's giving funds to all of these creators to make new fan games. Again, the fan games are FNAC 4, Joy of Creation, Ignited Collection, Pop Goes Evergreen, One Night at Flumpty's 3, I'm hyped for that one, and then Phil's remake slash reimagining of the original FNAF. I don't know if that is the FNAF 2 reimagining that Phil made a, a couple months back, but uh, it might be, because as far as I'm aware, he's still talking with Scott about that fan game, so maybe that's the fan game that Scott's talking about, or maybe it's the FNAF 1 fan game because he does say original FNAF and not original FNAF 2. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. So these five fan games are going to be on major consoles and mobile devices, and they're gonna have their own merchandise. That- that is insane. So of course, these five developers are like the main five that I think of when I think of people that make FNAF fan games. Um, there are a few other ones that, again, I could mention, but I feel like I shouldn't because I don't want to miss any names. So if this does go well, which I swear to God, if this does not go well, I'm going to be so upset because this is, again, a fantastic idea. So if this goes well, Scott could fund other creators and other fan games to have them be ported and have merchandise and have remakes and all that stuff. I think, again, this is, this is amazing. Scott, you are the freaking best. I'm still just kind of in shock because again this is amazing scott is literally the best freaking dude ever he's providing funds and support to all these five creators to have 
fan games of his series be made and put onto major consoles. Something that shouldn't be possible because technically you can't sell fan games. But uh, I don't know. This is this is so cool. And the merchandise as well, I'm so hyped for that. I would love to have merchandise for all of these fan games. I don't know if Scott is going to have the copyright to these fan games or if the dedicated developers will have them. Because again, technically they are fan games. They shouldn't be sold, but because Scott is such a great guy, they are. Um, so if Scott has the licensing, if like, let's say Emil has the licensing, licensing or Kane does, I don't know. So again, that's gonna be interesting to see how this, how this plays out. I don't think that this is the independent game that Scott is working on because it doesn't seem like Scott is making any of these games. In fact, he says specifically that he is staying out of the development stages. Um, he's just providing support and funds and all that stuff, so I don't think that this is Scott's secret project, but this is still an amazing project. I, I don't know what else to say besides go support all these guys, I'll leave their social medias down below, their Twitter, their YouTube, whatever. Um, same thing with Scott, man, he is just the fucking best. I am so excited to see where this goes. Hopefully it goes well because I would love to see this happen with more fan games in the future. There's no release date for any of these fan games just yet. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I think maybe Pop Goes Evergreen has one, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, I, I am so hyped to play all of these <laughs> on consoles, on mobile. Of course we'll be doing playthroughs on them uh, whenever they do come out because I think that would be just fucking fantastic. I am so hyped for all of these fan games. FNAF 4, again, uh, going through all them. FNAF 4, Joy of Creation, Ignited Collection, Pop Goes Evergreen, One Night at Flumpty's 3. I'm especially hyped for that one. Um, and then Phil's reimagining of the original FNAF. Also, can we just take a minute to realize that Scott said, and finally, Phil will be bringing you a remake slash reimagining of the original FNAF. Is that, like, did Scott just confirm that a FNAF remake is being made right now? Technically, it's being made by someone else, so yes, it is a fan game, but if Scott's backing it, then dude, is that, is that the official FNAF remake? I don't think so. Again, um, it is technically still a fan game, but that is still crazy to think about, because for the longest time, and I guess you could say we got this with Help Wanted, but for the longest time, we thought Scott was going to remake some of the older FNAF games, and so I guess we're kind of getting that with what um with what Phil's bringing us. So we have all of this to look forward to. Hopefully, Scott gives us um, updates on this initiative later on when it's in later stages, because I would love to know more. But that's it for this video. Uh, it's quick because it's late. I'm gonna get this out for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Bye. Again, it's late. I'm I'm getting a little bit tired. All right, I've been playing Fall Guys a lot tonight. So uh, yeah. I'm probably gonna go play more. See you later.